Good morning everybody, it's Andy Phillips here and welcome to the webinar. Um, I've also got a very good friend and business partner, Mr. Dave Lines. you want to say good morning, Dave? Good morning everybody. And just to make sure that uh, everybody can hear us, if you can just um, stick into the chat box, uh, if you can hear us or not, that would be really, really helpful. Just to make sure that we can, uh, we're getting everybody, yeah, brilliant, very clear, thank you. That's great, that's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, okay, so it looks like everybody can hear us. We're ready to go. We're raring to go today. Um, and what we're we'll going to be talking about today is uh, a concept of marketing which I think is absolutely essential to our overall business marketing online. The, the problem that I think a lot of people have with their business marketing, especially when it comes to the online business marketing, is there's some gray areas and it's like, where do we start? What do we do? How do we achieve the sort of things that we want to achieve for our business? And it's essential that we actually start looking at the, the core elements of business marketing and the stuff that really makes a massive, massive difference to our marketing. Um, so there's a lot of people on today and I think one of the reasons is that there's, uh, there's, a, there's a real need to understand how this marketing works and how we can actually make a massive difference. Not just advertise, not just market a little bit, but actually get out to the right audiences with the right information at the right time and get people to really genuinely know us, like us and trust us. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. So hopefully some of the things we're going to be talking about will transform the way you think about your business, the way you think about your marketing. And the methods that we're going to share with you today are ones that we've used time and time again. Um, they're tried and tested, but they're also very, very cutting edge. And there's a few things we want to go through today that um, has changed recently with Google, with the search engines, uh, with online marketing in general. But we also want to talk about the attitudes that we believe that you as business owners really genuinely need to have to make that difference in your marketing. So the, the, the methods we're going to talk about will dramatically impact your business. Now the webinar title is How to Become the Go-To Person. And again, it's one of those essential core things that we have to talk about when we are going out in a very, very crowded uh, um, and competitive uh, online marketplace. Everybody online today has a business uh, has a product or a service that they want to get in front of the right people and getting it in front of the right people is what is so difficult is what the, the sort of challenges that people have so let's just look at some of the things that are different what's happened just recently uh, the way that Google works today is different to a few months ago uh, there's quite a few companies out there a lot of businesses that are have been well established on the, on the internet and number one in the organic listings for their chosen field, their business, their products, their services. And they found just recently that they've fallen off the page. They've completely fallen off the cliff. And one of the reasons is because their marketing up to that point, although has worked very, very well using the way Google works, um, it hasn't gone to Google's vision. Now, Google's vision is very, very focused. They want to be the best search engine out there. They want to be able to provide the best search results, the most relevant search results, provided by good quality companies that are actually doing business today and are working with clients well. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to just get the best of the best of the best into the search results. And because of that, they have an algorithm. They have an algorithm which they work to. And if you don't work to their algorithm, you're going to get either not on page one, not in Google, not indexed properly, and not in front of the audiences that you really need to, need to get in front of. And consequently, you won't build any reputational authority online. So um, you're going to find it very, very difficult to... Uh, sell your products, to build lists, to get leads. So that's what we're going to talk about, the game changer, the way we've, we've, uh, we've focused our efforts over the years, and we've learned this quite uh, dramatically over the years when we've worked with, with quite a lot of different companies, um, how to use the internet properly, how to focus our efforts and our clients' efforts in the right way, and to 
really sort of go along with with Google's vision. Would you say that was that was what we need to do, Dave? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the the other title, the working title we had for this was how to make the internet work for you. And you know, Google obviously plays a massive massive part of that. But if you do things um, the way that Google wants them to be done, and if you play that game, then the, you, you you're achieving you're achieving the the end game for the for the whole of the internet and you know people are searching for your for your business people are searching for th your products and services that you need all the time online um, and what you need to do is make sure that that you're there um, and that you're you're engaging those people and that people are are, are people are finding you um, and the way to do that as as you've said is to is to play Google's Google's game and it, and it's not and it's it's good stuff. It's built on solid foundations, solid basic marketing principles, and it's just applying them to the internet. And then all of a sudden, the internet becomes a, a, a big marketing machine for you. Yeah, and one of, one of the things I wanted to do, just to quickly position where the, the, the sort of things that we're going to be talking to you today, where we position this is quite simple. And I'm going to do a very broad stroke, black and white version of what we've learned over the years uh, when we've gone in to do consultancy for clients and uh, what we found when we, when we walk in the door most of the time is that because you're a business you the first thing you want to do is try and sell stuff and that is absolutely essential that we do that but what tends to happen is the businesses go into this process of I'm going to market my business by advertising. I'm going to try and sell my products, which is a gut reaction thing. If you're a brand new business or you're an established business that's got a new product or a service, the first thing you want to do is advertise it. The problem lies in that advertising from scratch very rarely works unless you've got something absolutely amazing that people, everybody wants and it's just a case of putting it in front of people, which is exactly what advertising is. But a lot of companies advertise first, try and sell something and they find it's very difficult. So what they do is they pull back to a different position. Once they find the advertising's not giving them return they want, so they pull back to another position. And the position they normally pull back to is a direct marketing position. Now both of these are highly important in your online marketing. But going at it this way round, advertising first, then pulling back to direct marketing because you realize that the advertising isn't doing what you want and then finding direct marketing routes. In other words, I'm going to sell this product, this book, this service, this um, event or whatever it is and I'm going to sell it to this specific audience. Then again, something which is amazingly important, we do direct marketing all the time. But to start with that, you're, again, you're going to find it difficult to sell that book or you know, fill those seats or get that product in front of people, get that service in front of people. And then what we do, or what people tend to do, is they fall back and say, look, we've got to get people to know who we are, what our values are. Let's give some things away. Let's position ourselves. And that's what we do here. This go-to, this rave experience. Now, right at the beginning, the very first slide of this, was do people rave about you and your business? And RAVE is an acronym which, is, which stands for Reputation, Authority, Visibility and Engagement. And this is the core marketing uh, level which I think most, most businesses really don't, really don't think about too much when they first start marketing. But we've learned over the years, haven't we Dave, that this is exactly where you've got to start before you can start building anything else. So one of the things that we do is whenever we go and talk to our clients, we sort of say, okay, we can do all these other things, but the very first thing we've got to do, we've got to let people know you exist. I talk extensively in my training that um, there are different points of conversion. Now, most people think of conversion as sticking a name and an email onto a list on a site, and that's converting people. We're always talking about traffic and conversion, and that's what people believe conversion is. But I actually think there's lots of different conversion points. One of the most important and one of the things that this really, really relates to is the conversion point of getting people from not knowing you to knowing you. It's a fundamental marketing policy is to get people to know you first, get people to trust what you do, like you, build your reputation, build your authority online, and while you're doing that, become visible to them. This is psychological stuff we're talking about here. Become visible to them online. So whenever they're searching for something, you start popping up. And as you saw in the, the, the game changer, this concept of game changer, 
there's a different way of popping up in front of people on Google, which we're going to go into in much more detail uh, during this webinar. Once you've actually put this in place, this reputational authority visibility engagement process, this rave process in place, and started to become the go-to person within your industry, then you can start to look at how are you going to put that in place and direct market to those people. Because now you've got a lot of people who are following you, a lot of people are listening to you, they, they, are, they see your reputation and authority online, and so they're going to take far more notice of you as soon as you start direct marketing and consequently advertising as well. So the most important section of this, or the, the most relevant section of this, when we first start marketing to anything, to anybody, is to get to be this go-to person to start this rave principle up. And this is, the, I believe, the challenge is one of the biggest challenges. Wouldn't you say so, Dave, for, for people who are starting marketing, new businesses or established businesses that are just putting out new products, new services as they go? Yes, I mean to you to build to build that reputation, to build authority, and to get visible and to engage with people. It takes time and it takes certain skills. And most businesses just uh, most businesses, you know, stop at having a, a website. You know, and they've got their website, they've got their content on there, and and that's their their online presence. They maybe get listed in a couple of directories. You know, they probably get bombarded with people trying to sign you up to their directories every day. Um, but stops at the website maybe you'll have a Facebook page maybe even a LinkedIn page um, but but the vast majority of businesses don't have the time and don't know where to put the time and effort and how to get things done um, you know the, the people that you've taught Andy you know they, they go away from the first two weeks they go away and they produce the content and they do everything they're supposed to but then it tails off because business day-to-day -day business takes over um, but if you're really serious about this and, and really believe that the internet can provide a steady stream of new leads to you, it can be a fantastic marketplace for you. And if you believe in that, then it's a matter of sitting down and understanding what are the important things that you need to do. And hopefully that's what we're going to cover off today and, and show you how you can do them and get them done. Um, reputation, authority, visibility, engagement. If we just take each of those individually for the moment. and. Um, and what I want you to imagine is um, a typical prospect for your product or service, for your business. And they're searching for something online. They're researching it. They're trying to find a solution to a problem or they're researching a particular product, what have, whatever it might be. If, they come, if you come across companies that have a good reputation, so by that you've got, the, you know, there are reviews and testimonials, there are people talking about you online that are saying, hey, I recommend this company, hey, I went with this company and they were great. Um, this company have been around forever and they just seem to be, you know, the leaders in, in their industry. If you have a good reputation, is that going to help people make a decision to go to you and to under, know you and to inquire with you? I think it's a fairly obvious yes. I hope that's a fairly obvious yes. A good reputation goes a long, long way. And that's a big tick in the box to make people decide to engage with you. Authority. Again, when people are searching online for around a particular topic, if they see um, a particular name, face or business coming up time and again um, as being, let's say, for example, there are press releases where it's saying Dave Lyons of Dave Lyons Company says X, X Y, Z and, and, and you become the... Um, you are quoted in press releases, uh, it establishes you as an authority. You know, you're the person that journalists are going to for a soundbite. Um, when they see your profiles online, they're seeing that you've been in business for 20 years and you've worked with this company and that company. Um, and there are various, lots of ways that we're going to cover off where you can build this instant authority. And again, when people think that you're an authority on the business, is that going to make them more or less likely to think these are people that I should be I should be talking to about my particular problem or the particular product I want. Visibility. Um, the more places you appear online, the more places that your name, your business appears online and people can read about your products and services, the more like just even from a probability point of view, if there are ten links on a page and six of them are lead to you, the probability of people clicking through and finding out about your business or service as opposed to one of your competitors is, is higher. 
Um, and also the psychology of that visibility. So every time people are looking around a certain topic that is to do with your industry, they're just seeing your name, your business name, or your individual name and face coming up time and time again. And they're seeing this reputation, they're seeing this authority. Um, and finally, engaging with people. When they do find you, there are ways that you can engage with them. They can comment, they can, they can inquire, they can, they can phone, and, and you can start to have dialogues with these people rather than it just being, um, being a one-way conversation. These are the key things that we're, we're talking about, building those reputation, authority, visibility, um, and authority. I'm going to go through individual ways that you can achieve that in a relatively short period of time and build on that foundation. Um, if I can just ask a question to everybody listening now and, and, and just really straightforward and say, if you, if you had a good reputation online, a strong reputation where people were commenting and giving you, you know, thumbs up, five stars, all of that, uh, if you were established an authority, so you were quoted in press releases, you had biographies everywhere that told you exactly how long you've been in business, what you do, why you do it, um, um, and people are coming to you for advice on a particular topic. If you've got a massively increased visibility, so you've got lots of content, lots of digital assets out there on the web, and you engage with people, do you think if you achieved that and minimised the time that it took you to achieve it, that it would result in more inquiries and more people engaging with your business. Now we're getting quite, oh, we're getting a flood of stuff coming through. Um, would yeah make a new, huge amount of difference. Uh, absolutely, uh, it's what I need right now. Um, yeah, I'm, I want to engage with my audience, and I, the only way I see doing that is by being in front of them all the time. That's exactly what this is about. Uh, Naturally, uh, yep, yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of a lot of affirmatives, basically, yeah, which is good. That's good. We're in the right place, then, and we've got the right audience. That's a, that's a good start. And the other thing is that this this is true for any business. There, I, I I challenge anybody to come to me, you know, you know, with a business where achieving these things online wouldn't generate more business for them. So the trick is being able to do it with the minimum amount of your time taking you away from other elements of your business and with the maximum impact. So we, what we're talking about is the ability to reach a highly targeted audience, and present your business product or service across multiple platforms in different formats on a long-term consistent basis. So what we're going to talk about is what we do for clients as Digital Cascade and these are all things that you can do yourself as well. Um, and, and to try and break down which bits you need to do as an individual and which bits you can get done for you um, externally and how you can just try and minimise the time and maximise the impact to achieve um, these things. Um, just one thing on the, on the previous slide, and this is key before we sort of go, go forward, is the concept of prospect profiling. Most people go off half-cocked with these things time and time again. And I've been working in marketing and online marketing for, for, for 17 years. And the vast majority of businesses you know, that, that go and do some SEO, they do search engine optimization because they sit down and they think about some keywords that are related to their business. I'm a furniture delivery person, so furniture delivery. They choose a word and then they go and um, do search engine optimization on that phrase. And quite often, that's not the way that their prospects are searching for them online. All of your prospects, you know, every product or service solves a problem um, or helps people achieve a goal or ambition. And then you've got to put yourself in the mind of your prospects and think, what questions do they ask? Where do they start their research for these things? Where does the sales, you know, and uh, the research cycle start? And that's where we want to begin um, and because when they start that process of, of looking into a certain topic or looking into a certain product or service, that's where we need to be and to be building our reputation and so on. Um, so, um, if it's okay with everybody, what we're going to do, the way we're going to do this is we're going to talk through exactly what we would deliver for a digital cash cable, what the key things that we think we would deliver to a, a client in the period of a month. Um, and in each part, um, we'll explain how to get things done um, and what elements you need to put in. And uh, if you've got any questions along the way, please type them in and Andy will uh, shout them up to you.